Now, we have an update our, on our investigation of the Wounded Warrior Project. We reported that that charity spends far less of its donations on veterans as compared to other charities. We were surprised, and turns out, some major donors were too. Here's Chip Reed. With two sons serving in Iraq, raising money for Wounded Warrior Project was more than a cause for Fred and Diane Kane. It was a calling. Since 2009, the Kane's charity, Tee Off for a Cause, raised $325,000 for Wounded Warriors through golf tournaments in the Carolinas. The organization even honored Fred Kane with an award for being a VIP donor. But allegations that only a little over half of donations went to help wounded vets came as a blow. And then hearing that there was this waste of money and donor dollars that should have been going to the um, servicemen and women that were injured, and it was spent on their having a good time, it, it, it's a real disappointment. Wounded Warriors tax forms show spending on conferences and staff meetings grew to $26 million by 2014, but the charity insists those expenditures qualify as programs and services. Outraged, Kane canceled this year's benefit tournament and started a petition on Change.org calling for a public audit. He also called senior management and said he thought CEO Stephen Nardizi should be fired. I said, you know, where, where is he? You lead from the front, good or bad. I said, you don't hide. I don't understand how an organization that has many veterans who value honor and service in the chain of command can be led by a guy like that. CBS News has learned Kane is one of several major donors who are ending their support, and he wants answers from the group's board of directors. Did they have a responsibility to know what was going on? Absolutely, any board of directors does. Sources with direct knowledge of the charity's operations said the board signs off on all the charity's major spending, including expensive staff retreats. Those sources also told us the board has spent donor dollars on its own meetings at five-star hotels, including the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Los Angeles and the Waldorf Astoria in New York. They also said that when board members questioned spending decisions and executive salaries, their concerns were ignored. We tried to speak with each board member in person, but they declined. I feel like I'm representing all these people that have donated over the years, all these seniors over 65 that, that have sent them $19 a month, all these people on fixed incomes. If nobody's going to talk about this right now, uh, and it has to be me, then it has to be me. Are you done with Wounded Warrior Project? Yes, except for my new mission, of trying to see change there. The board says it's ordered a review by independent auditors and that it would be inappropriate to answer questions until all the facts are known. Full disclosure, a CBS corporate executive serves on that board. Scott, the board won't say if the results of their review will be made public or whether the board's spending is under review as well. They have also hired legal counsel. Chip Reed, thanks.